Hi everybody, how are you all? Well, wham bam and it's the end of Jan. <laughs> it's the end of January and we're finishing it off with a triple whammy for the full moon. It's not just going to be a simple little everyday happening this full moon. My name's Michelle Conway. This is Psychic Angel Guidance and you're on A1R Psychic Radio. Okay, this morning I thought, oh gosh, as usual, what will I talk about today? And my guide said to me, well, you know what? There's a really special event taking place in just under, um, I'm just looking at the clock over here now, and just under 11 hours away, we have a triple whammy full moon. It's going to be a total lunar eclipse and the moon is in the sign of Leo, so it's a fire sign, um, and it's a blue moon. So a blue moon means you've got a second chance at whatever it was you set your intentions for with the start of this year, you're getting a second chance to reinforce those, revisit, iron out any crinkles, and set yourself back on your track of intention. Okay, so if any little fears or self-doubts have crept in over the last 28 days, then now's this chance with this full moon energy in just under 11 hours for you to shift your focus, get yourself back on track, okay, because it's a super moon. So it's super close to the Earth, this lunar eclipse. And the lunar eclipse for us here in Australia is taking place at just about on midnight from what I understand, which I find really just awesome. What an auspicious time as well because midnight is the darkest point and at the darkest point we're going to have the lunar eclipse take place. So if you're wanting to um, do a little ritual or um, set your intention, that would be the best time. And for you guys over there, 11 hours from whatever time it is now, it's going to have the same impact for you, okay? It's still going to have that energy that will embrace no matter where you are on a global planetary placement, you're still going to be sitting in this energy that's going to take place, okay? So... To get yourself ready for it, if you can, have a bath. Get a bath ready, okay, and infuse the bath with lots of fresh flowers, not dried ones or anything like that. Set the bath with, um, if, if it's love that you, is your intention or your focus for the energies of this moon, put rose petals in. Put flowers that represent love to you, okay, or if it's a communication you want with spirit, put in the flower that would have been of the person that has passed, okay? Put leaves, essential oils, all of those things into the bath and, and allow your body to soak in that energy and shift to that vibration of where you want to be. So, for example, even if it's abundance or a new job that you're wanting to bring in to your direction or your life right now, Focus on that. Use this energy right now, okay, to help yourself to overcome any fears that you might have because, you know, when you have a fear, you're sitting in an energy that's saying, hey, I want to have a go at this. So you know you've got the idea, you know what it is you want to do, but that fear is there and that fear is there simply because you're stepping into something that's new. And your intuitive self is saying to you, I'm ready, I want to take this next step. But that person inside is going, hey, I don't know, I don't believe I can. And so you're trying to hold yourself in your safety zone, in your comfort zone, and that's what fear is. So listening to that fear and saying, hey, no, I've got to align myself with the energy, with the direction I want my life to go in, is going to be a very powerful thing to do with this full moon energy, okay? Because the moon's in Leo and that is also, it's a fire sign, it's a leader sign. So let this energy of this moon lead you into that new pathway. Let it lead you into letting go if you need to let go or move away from people in your life, moving into a direction where they're no longer present. 
okay? Instead of focusing on what isn't right about why you can't move forward, look and move forward into that energy. Say, okay, thank you for what's not right, but that's just... That's just something holding you there to say, oh, do you really believe you can do it? Absolutely you can because you have had that thought at a time when guidance, your higher self has come through, it's got through to you to say, I'm ready. I'm going to do this. This is something you have thought to do, all right? And because you are thinking and had that thought, you activated that true belief in yourself. You actually connected and resonated on a frequency of a vibrational universal energy that says, I am allowed to have, I am allowed to receive, all right? So say thank you to those fears for keeping you in that safety zone. Thank you for making me aware that I've learned everything I need to learn at the moment, that I'm ready to step forward and utilising the energy of this um, triple whammy full moon is going to be the perfect time to do that, to get yourself aligned on, if you like, on a, like a vibrational grid, if you like, all right? So think of it like um, you've got a big grid and on this grid you've got all this positive energy and just at the bottom you've got that little bit of um, negative stuff that's we need that it keeps us safe it's going to stop us running out on the road and getting run over by a truck all right we've got to have fear because fear keeps us safe but sometimes fear can hold us back too okay so getting your grid all aligned coloring all, all the directions and see that grid each little square as a stepping stone that you can color in a positive color that's uplifting that gives you the ability to move forward little bit by little bit by little bit until you can see hey you're sitting in that new space and it's safe okay so this triple whammy full moon energy it's a super fertilizer so if there's anybody out there who has been wanting to start a family um, now's the time, get into it. <laughs> um, it's a super fertilising full moon energy that is there to, even for the seeds, for new career, new love, new babies, new books, new music, new inspiration, anything you can think of, use this moon. It's so close to the earth, the energy. You've got that beautiful goddess nurturing energy at her peak at 12 o'clock midnight at the darkest hour there's that full moon lunar eclipse making it the time of birth to come forward so that's when you would light your candle that's when you would light the candle to bring forth the light to light the direction for yourself okay all right well i could um talk on that for quite a while but i've got somebody here waiting and it's Linda in Montreal. Hi Linda, how are you? Fine, yourself? I'm good, thank you. How's your day? Fine, it's been fine. Yeah, you had a good day? Yes, I did. That's good. Okay, have you rang in with a particular question tonight? Yeah, I just wanted to know if 2018 would be better than 2017. Okay, that's a very general question, okay? Yeah. Um, and the first thing that I'm picking up for you is to say it's time for you to let go of self-doubt was what came through for me, okay? Okay. Um, I, feel, I feel like um, often you procrastinate for too long, you sit on the fence, you overthink things is what spirit is saying to me that prevents you from moving forward, all right? They're telling me there's been a lot of emotional um, learning curves that you experienced in 2017. Would that be right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So they're also saying that as this year moves on, you will find that you're going to realise how much you've learnt how much you've grown because of those emotional challenges and lessons that you went through last year. Now, they're telling me in particular that it was a karmic, karmic closing or there is a particular peak of emotional um, 
stress for you is what I'm being told, that actually was your involvement in it was a karmic lesson for you. And now you're coming out the other side of that. You're starting to... I'm seeing a Band-Aid, as I'm saying that. I'm seeing a Band-Aid being pulled off, all right? So um, you're coming out of the healing phase. You're going to start to utilise the skills that you have learnt and you won't realise what they are until you're putting them into practice, okay? Okay. But you're going to be stronger because of what you've been through. Now, I'm picking up a male, I, I feel it's a younger male around you, like a, a teenage boy type of energy. Have you got a teenage boy in your life? No. Okay, because I'm getting a, a teenage boy sort of male, younger male type of energy um, around you. So I would feel that there's somebody that you're going to um, encounter in the next few months that is in, in some way in need of your advice in regard to their teenage boy, okay? You're going to be able to help them through either just being there, being a sounding post or just being able to give the right advice at the right time for them, okay? Because I do, as I'm saying that, I'm being told you're, you're about to grow. You're going on a growing um, stage this year. You've come out of a, a, a restricted cycle on an emotional level where now you're about to expand again. So I, I see energy as expanding and contracting, if that makes sense for you, okay? Yeah, it does, yes. Yeah, so I feel like your energy is now about to start to expand again, that you've um, almost been recharged, if you like, and because of that recharging, um, you're stepping into a a very new energy for yourself this year, okay? Um, I, I feel like it's it's going to be easy for you to do because spirit are telling me you've been through quite a bit. You've had, you've you you deserve a, an easier year, okay? Yes. Um, yes. Oh, I feel like taking a breath after all that because that did come out quite quickly for me. That came through quite fast for me to say all that to you as well. So, so I feel like spirit is saying. Remember to rest. Once you get into the energy of this new cycle, it's going to be important for you to remember to rest um, okay. because of your health. Have you, you? I'm getting something there on the health level for you, okay? It's either you've had okay. the health issues and that's been part of what's happened for you in the in last year um, and it's going to be remember to rest, look after yourself for the next um, the next few months. Okay. okay. Does that make sense yes. for you? Yes, it does. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So do you have a specific question that you would like me to focus on for you? Yes. My finances, will it be better? Okay. Wow. Um, now, as I was asking about your finances for you, I actually felt like there's a big tube and I've, I've felt like there's coins trickling down this tube and they keep falling out the bottom which to me it's that's indicating to me that um that there's you need to plug the bottom <laughs> all right so it's like you you've you've been over either over capitalized or over invested in um an area of your life okay and I do feel like in the next 12 months you're going to get that under control and with that, that tells me that when you uh, um, start to get those things into control, the, you manifest more abundance, not just in um, material things, but also in your wealth, your monetary wealth as well, because that is also a sign of what um, is your, your life, what okay. is growing for you. Does that make sense for you? Yes, it does, yes. Yeah, so I do, I do feel like this year it's going to be a few big milestones take place for you where you're going to get that control back into your um, financial situation, okay? And I feel like you can sort of tell now, even though, or you feel like it, you've either, I'm feeling as though you've either surrendered something or you've given up something or you've just gone, I don't care. <laughs> it's just the way it is. <laughs> and in doing that, you have actually set yourself free, which means you've learnt that lesson, which means in that sense, 
the universe can now respond to you on an energetic level and allow the next one, the next cycle for you. Your abundance will start to grow is what I'm feeling with that. Does that, do you understand what I mean with that? Yes, yes. Yeah, Yeah, because it's like, oh, my God, it just keeps going on. I just – and I'm over-worrying about it. You're just like, I've always got through it before. Somehow it's always worked out and you've just given up worrying about it. Okay. Okay, so I do feel that that will start to – I I feel around August you'll start to say, hey, yeah, I am making progress. My finances are starting to um, become back in the black, if you like. Okay. Uh, okay. So keep going the way you're going. I feel like you've got a good year at the moment. Spirit are telling me you've got a good year. You've got lots of good new energy there for you. It's about aligning yourself with your um, new energy and say thanks for everything I've been through, but I'm ready to grow now. And as I said at the start of the show, your fears are what keep you safe, but your fears are also can what keep you stuck. So it's about saying, okay, thank you for keeping me safe, but it's time for me to now take that step, the steps I need to move forward for myself. Okay. Okay. No worries. Well, thank you for calling. I thank you very much for taking the time to do a reading for me. It was my pleasure. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Okay. I got Laurie in Texas. Hi, Laurie. Yes. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How's your day been? Huh? How has your day been? What is my birthday? How has your day been? My baby. Your day. How has your day been? Oh, Have you my had a day. Good day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's been crazy. <laughs> I'm totally sorry. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, do you want to have a baby or something? Because you were focused on a birthday and having a baby. <laughs> no. Oh. No, no goodness. Uh, so how how has your day been? Is it have you had a nice day? Oh, uh, not too bad. Oh, that's good. What's the weather like over there for you? To me, it's chilly. It's chilly? Okay. Yeah. We've we've got a cool change here, which is awesome because we've had a really big heat wave over here in um, Ballarat in Australia, where I am, and it was just unbearably hot. So we've got a cool change. So it's really beautiful to have this fresh energy here. Okay, so have you phoned in with a particular question? Yes, I'm wondering what the strongest um, spirit around me is, who who they are. Okay, so you're asking if, if there's anybody in spirit around you at the moment? Yeah. Okay. I'm just asking for them to come forth and give me an indication of who they are. I am um, picking up a mark. I'm... Sorry? Go ahead. What were you going to say, sorry? I've been wondering uh, if it's been my kids' as dad. <laughs> I was just about to say I'm picking up a really... Um, strong male energy around you, okay? And I'm picking up quite a loud, I feel like a very loud voice, all right? So I feel a very big big energy with this this male person. And um, I'm also feeling... I'm feeling... I'm getting a mixed, mixed emotions here with him, all right? I'm getting that he wants you to know... And wants you guys to know that he's at peace, but he's also letting me know that he really was very confused. And at the time of his passing, I don't feel like he was ready to pass. Okay, I do feel like um, there was a lot of confusion around him, though, at the time of his passing, is what I'm getting. Okay. Okay. 
Now, I'm also getting that, um, I'm getting, I'm feeling very sad at the moment that, um, and I am getting drawn towards ch your children, the energy I'm, ta I'm being taken that way by this male at the moment. And I'm feeling a sadness. So he's, he's expressing to me the loss, the sense that the children have of a loss with him not being in their life, okay? Um, but I'm also feeling as though he feels like he's let them down by not being there anymore as well, okay? Um, okay. But he's watching over them. He's watching over you too. And he's saying, <laughs> he's having a bit of a laugh. He's saying that you are a bit stubborn. You're quite, you can be quite stubborn, okay? okay. Um, and that you's, did you, you's butted heads a bit. Would that be right? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> He's having a laugh about that. He's saying, my gosh, um, he's actually telling me that it's like you two were too much alike, if that makes sense. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's why um, it's, it, was, it was either all or, or all on or all off with you, you know, because you were too much alike. <laughs> um, <laughs> And he's actually he's actually referring to something about a cat. Did you want a cat at one stage and he didn't want a cat or he wanted a particular there's something about a cat. I'm just getting a cat. And he's referring to that. Um, does that make sense for you? Yeah, he liked cats and I'm allergic to them. <laughs> so he's <laughs> he's <laughs> he's referring to that then because he's he's having a bit of a laugh about it because of I, I don't know what the outcome was that he's um was but he he's having a laugh about it okay um because I, I feel like I feel like I'm being shown a black cat was was it a, did you end up getting a black cat or there was a black cat um, he's had quite a bit. I just didn't want them around. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So he's referring to that. Um, now he's also saying to me that, um, I feel as though he's indicating that you, um, have you got healing techniques or healing abilities that you're not fully utilising? Do I have healing abilities? Yes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, I feel that he's um, referring to something about a healing energy around you, okay? You've either got healing energies that you are tapping into or that you're not utilising. But as I'm saying that, he's also telling me that you're in a healing time in your life as well, okay? So um, I do feel like he's referring to the fact that there is some type of either level of peace or calm that is taking place around you at the moment. Does that make sense for you? I don't know. I mean, my health, myself, my health not that good. So I don't know. Oh, that'd be the oh, healing. No. That's where I'm getting the healing. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I can see why I'm getting the healing energy there. Um so with that, I do feel that it's about you tapping into the healing energy for yourself and allowing yourself to, to, to find some time to have some peace or some calm for yourself, to allow yourself to be able to receive that healing energy that's, that is there for you, okay? Because um, I'm feeling quite a lot of tension around my stomach area that... Um, And, and I'm feeling it in my head too. So um, are you getting, it's either feeling your, your health issues in your stomach area? Um, on the side. On your side? Um, yeah. And I have a bad leg. Okay. Because I'm getting the, I'm feeling the tension in my stomach and it makes me feel weird in my head as well. Hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to put this energy together to make sense of it. 
because I've only got a few minutes to do it for you in, okay? So um, okay. I do feel that with what I'm picking up there, uh, I've seen a hand of assistance coming forward for you in the next, um, I'm going to say next eight weeks, okay? I do feel like there's going to be a shift um, and that the healing is going to start to be activated for you, all right? So I do feel like there is um, going to be less pain, less discomfort coming in for you in the next few months, all right? Um I feel as though there's okay. a new, new. it's either something to do with a new doctor or some sort of new um, treatment that you're going to f discover or find out about, okay? And that's going to come to you in the next few weeks. So with okay. that, I do feel like um, things are going to get better because I'm getting that healing energy. And as I'm saying that, I'm getting a really big smile and a really big, shake of the head yes from this beautiful male energy in spirit all right um <laughs> and he can't help it he's having a little last last joke with you and saying that you need to sit with the cat on your knee and let and just pat it <laughs> <laughs> okay so i need to get a black cat <laughs> Yeah. and just nurse the cat let it purr and because cats are very healing too okay so i'm going to have to leave it there thank you for calling in thank you just you are so you were so right on oh, thank you thank you for calling i loved chatting with you and and giving you your reading today thank you for letting me do that for you it was beautiful thank you okay so Thank you, everyone. It's coming up to the end of my time again for today. So remember, it's a triple whammy, full moon coming up in just under 11 hours. Get ready. Get all your thought. Think about what you want to bring in and manifest for yourself. Get everything organised. Ask your angels. Ask your guides. Ask everybody with you to guide you, to help you, and to send, most of all, love, healing, and whatever is needed in your highest good as part of 2018 for you all.